welcome to Slaughterhouse Stories. I hope you enjoy the story I have for you tonight. You just watching us all. Have you ever had the feeling you're being watched? I'm sure you have. Everyone has had this feeling. It doesn't matter if you're old or young. You're being watched all the time. It will be lurking around your house, around places you often go. People will call you crazy. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. But I can tell you that this person is real. I'm sure you all think I'm crazy, but I am not. Because after all, your sanity is the only thing that keeps this thing away. When you lose your sanity, it will eat you alive. Not from the outside like some kind of cannibal. It will eat you from the inside out. Starting with your brain. Ending with your soul. When it reaches your soul, your life will slowly fade away. The fastest option is to kill yourself. If you don't commit suicide, your life will pass slowly. Very slowly. Seconds will feel like minutes. Minutes will feel like hours. And hours will feel like days. When you feel like a week has passed, while you sit in a darkened room waiting for your end, you will see that you only sat there for 12 hours. You will probably have a mental breakdown, and you scream for someone to end this. That's the sign for this thing to start its horrible hobby. He will walk into your room, staring at you with a freezing look. The longer you stare in its eyes, the weaker you get. You can't scream, you can't move, you can't even breathe. Just when you think you're going to die, he'll come closer with his face, saying boo. You will pass out and wake up in the hospital. You will be cut up, and the people at the hospital are stunned by the fact that you survived all of this. A doctor walks to you. He grabs you by your throat and starts choking you. He will come close with his face, saying boo. That will be the last thing you will remember, as you will slip in a coma. No one can save you. You will slowly die, suffering. You probably want to know how I know this. Well, I am one of its victims. The first one who didn't go insane. And now I'm telling the world about this. So the next time you feel like you're being watched, run for your life. And don't look back. It's a stranger. So horror fills your veins with a feeling like no other. Well, lucky you. You are exactly who he needs. When you're in bed and hear a creak, don't think for a second it's the house settling. Because it's him. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night? It's no coincidence. It's him making you wake up. He knows you're scared of him. Because every night when you turn off that light, you rush away as fast as you can. Not checking in your rooms, because in the back of your mind, you know he's there. And you're too afraid to look. When you finally fall into the realm of sleep, he'll stand above you, watching. When you're lying on your side, not daring to turn around, just in case something greets you, that's him. Right when you're about to doze off to sleep, he will make a sound to keep you awake. When you finally get the courage to turn around, he will disappear. But if he doesn't, he'll make your death as slow and agonizing as he can. Now you should try to get some sleep and remember to check every last room. Sweet dreams. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed tonight's story, Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay spooky.